Hi and welcome to Best in Tesla. We have seen it before. Tesla doesn't know how to build cars but end up with one of the most efficient production lines in the world. And now even Toyota is copying Tesla's production method. Tesla doesn't know how to build their own batteries. But they end up having the most affordable battery for their vehicles built in-house with the 4680 cells. Tesla doesn't know how to make cathode for batteries. But they did see that as a bottleneck, so they started making their own cathode refinery in Texas. The list goes on, but the fact is, when Tesla and Elon Musk sees a bottleneck, they jump on it with a sense of urgency and first principle thinking that not many others do. So when Elon is out saying that Tesla have to build a terrafab to produce one chip to rule them all, he is not kidding. And everything is lining up perfectly with the partnership they now have with Samsung, where Elon Musk himself will walk the production line and try to make it even more efficient, but at the same time learn exactly how to build a terrafab from the ground up. And Elon Musk is the best positioned person in the world to make this happen, at a scale and at a pace the world has never seen before. So let's check it all out and let's dive right in. So you all probably remember that Tesla signed a big deal with Samsung for chips. Samsung has signed a multi-year $16.5 billion agreement with Tesla to manufacture its next generation AI6 chip at Samsung's foundry in Taylor, Texas. The contract runs through 2033 and positions Samsung as Tesla's primary foundry partner, producing custom silicon used across Tesla's AI products, including vehicles, the Optimus robot and its training clusters. This partnership is not only about Tesla buying chips from Samsung, it's about Tesla actually gaining access to the knowledge of building a fab. Because, as Elon said himself, Samsung agreed to allow Tesla to assist in maximizing manufacturing efficiency. This is a critical point, as I will walk the line personally to accelerate the pace of progress, and the fab is conveniently located not far from my house. But not only that, Elon Musk has reportedly requested his own personal office workspace inside Samsung's semiconductor fab site in Texas. So Elon is all in on helping Samsung to get to volume production of AI5 and AI6 chips as fast as possible. But at the same time, Elon Musk himself will be walking the production line, learning exactly how to make these chips, how the fab production line works, and coming up with his first principle thinking on how to make it even more efficient. And Elon Musk is already thinking about chip fabs and what can be made better. Just listen to this little clip from the Moonshot podcast. I think they're getting clean rooms wrong, by the way, in these modern fabs. Um, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a bet here. Okay. Okay. Um, that Tesla will have a two nanometer fab. And I can, I can eat a cheeseburger and smoke a cigar in the fat. Okay. Oh, come on. <laughs> yes. The air handling would be that good? Well, okay. Better. Do you have this sketched out in your mind? Like, how, is it, how are the atoms being placed that they're immune to uh, cheeseburger grease? <laughs> they just maintain wafer isolation the entire time, um, which is actually the default for, for fabs. The, the wafers are transported um, in boxes of pure nitrogen gas. Mm -hmm. Yep. And this lines up perfectly with the knowledge that we have that Elon Musk wants to build a Terrafab himself. So he is right now getting the knowledge and the know-how from Samsung on everything and at the same time trying to make it more efficient how all of this is done and taking the first principle thinking to the production of chips. So when Tesla build their own Terrafab, they might do it slightly different than the rest of the industry and might end up having one of the world's most efficient chip 
fabs. And we know that Tesla is already leader when it comes in building factories the fastest, so going to be very exciting to see how fast someone like Tesla will be able to gather all the knowledge that is needed to build a Terra Fab and get that factory up and running. Because usually, fabs is something that is also very expensive, but also take a very long time to get up and running. Samsung and TSMC are making fabs in Asia in about two years time, but it usually takes about twice as long in the US. As we could see with TSMC, it took almost four years to get their fab up and running in Arizona. But it's not just that Tesla knows how to make car factories extremely fast, but Elon Musk also showed with XAI that they could build data centers that was three times bigger than what the other competitors even thought was possible in making a coherent cluster, but they also built that cluster 20 times faster than anyone else knew how to. When Tesla's many big brains together with Elon Musk put their mind together and are collaborating with Samsung on getting the knowledge and know-how on how to operate and build chip production lines, we could be in for something really spectacular. And this is probably also one of the reasons that Tesla stopped the production and development of their Dojo chip, as they saw they just needed one chip to rule them all, and needed to scale to an extremely high volume with the goals Tesla has for autonomous vehicle and their Optimus robot that they will build in the hundreds of millions in the future. And of course, the whole race to get to AGI, building more and more data centers that needs a lot of GPUs. So for Tesla not to be so dependent on NVIDIA and AMD, they wanted to have their own chip. But instead of developing two different chips in parallel, they choose to focus on just one chip to rule them all. And Tesla has been developing their own chips for many years, so they know how to do that but they don't know how to manufacture it. And that is what they're learning from Samsung as we speak. So putting all of that together, Tesla's TerraFab could become a reality within a few years. And with their close collaboration with SpaceX, they should easily be able to put satellites in space with Tesla's AI chip, making these huge data centers in space that don't need cooling and have an abundance of energy from the sun, making Tesla and SpaceX almost untouchable as they have the cheapest ticket to Albert. They have been building satellites for years faster and cheaper and more efficient than anyone else has ever done in history. Tesla has already been designing chips for a long time and Elon has the knowledge and know-how from their XAI journey with their data centers. There is just no one else a better position to do all of this than Elon Musk and the collaboration between his companies. And just to put the size of what Elon is talking about in a little perspective, when he says he wants to make a TerraFab, well, that would probably be an order of magnitude bigger than any other single fab on the market today. For context, no single fab site today exceed 120,000 to 150,000 WSPM, which stands for Wafer Starts Per Month. The largest are multi-building compost like TSMC's Southern Taiwan Science Park. Elon is not aiming for 120,000. He's aiming for 1 million Wafer Start Per Month. So if Tesla actually built one TerraFab that could produce this much, they would become a top two to top three chip producers in the world overnight when that factory ramps up to full scale. So when Elon said that Tesla will be producing more chips than the entire industry combined, he was not kidding. But this is, of course, nothing that can be done overnight, and this will take hundreds of billions of dollars and multiple years to build. But because Elon Musk companies always works with a sense of urgency, I would not be surprised if Elon Musk and Tesla find the ground to start breaking ground for the factory itself here in 2026. But it will, of course, be multiple years before we will see any chips coming out of Tesla's own 
Terafab. But it is very fascinating to think about and show us what kind of scale Elon Musk is thinking about. I don't think anyone else is thinking this big because what Elon Musk wants to do with Tesla's autonomous vehicle, the Optimus robot and data centers is so big that he wants to have access to more chip than the entire world is currently producing. So that is why Elon doesn't see any other way but to build their own fab as nobody else is building it at a scale and at a pace that Elon Musk wants. But it's going to be very difficult for anyone to compete against this as Elon Musk and Tesla will get the know-how from Samsung's fab in the US on how to build the chip production line. They have all the knowledge about how to build data centers from XAI and they have access to space through Elon Musk SpaceX to build these huge affordable data centers out in space that is not used Using any energy from Earth and don't need all that expensive cooling system that is also using a lot of water. And Tesla already have years of experience in designing chips. Most people in the industry probably knows what Elon Musk is about to do. But I don't think anyone knows how they should be able to keep up. And thank you for watching. And until next time, take care out there and be nice.